cities are very complex, complex systems, and sort of our simplistic approaches to traditional sort of hierarchical, hierarchical governance are, uh, have troubles of dealing with that complexity. We have the diversity of citizens with com conflicting interests, very important, limited autonomy. Nation states often don't grant cities the powers to do anything about these big issues. Uh, and then, as a result, cities are very much constrained with sort of a range of political, institutional, uh, and economic um, f uh, factors here. And finally, that's a big issue and increasingly problematic because of lack of resources, funding, finance. We have heard this already. We are at the forefront of privatizing governance uh, in cities. I guess it's very important that national governments will take on the urban challenge and understand much better where is it that they produce and have uh, produced policies that are very counterproductive for good uh, urban development. And probably one of the most important urgencies here is to eliminate policies which have basically uh, destroyed cities, which have basically produced uh, very unfortunate urban development. Urban policy sectors um, are often not really sectors of urban governance. And that's something we really need to be aware of. There has been a lot of sharing of good practice in areas like transport. That's urban transport is a classic area of innovation for cities. This is where sort of the learning from each other worked quite well because across the board globally, it's an area which tends to be really overseen by local governments. But if you move to energy, it's a completely different story. This is a photo of the London Array offshore wind park. Uh, which has nothing to do with London government or governance. It's a name for marketing. It's actually run by European and um, sort of British level governance with big corporates. That can be very different. Munich, a city that owns its multi-utility company and can, on the basis of that, make big strategic decisions in the long run about electrifying, greening uh, uh, the city system. So I think the, the aspects of uh, connecting the development of cities uh, with very big questions about how much are we continue to rely on a long run uh, on a long term establishment of strategic formal um, sort of governance versus uh, more networked bottom up and uh, probably community led uh, innovation versus just using the urban narrative as something which can be taken on by other tiers of government. I think it was good to see uh, how you could package these conversations. There wasn't anything conclusive, i.e. where I felt, okay, it's definitely shifting into that direction or this, uh, but certainly I think uh, reinforcement that it's three central components uh, that matter.